Yeah, the two nades available, so Magisk and also Apex has his HEs. They softened them up on the initial one, and Apex with the lineup through the smoke takes out Torzi. So the first kill will go Vitality's way here on the CT side, leaping in towards the Cider Mouse, penetrating the B-bomb site, looking to put the bomb down. They will confirm the plan. JDC very close to going down. They're softening him up completely here. Vegas with a kill on Dexter, goes around the corner, finally taken out by Frozen. Mal's looking to try and stay strong inside of the site, but Apex has come out with a double kill, leaving Bimas left alone in a 1v4. Saiwu towering over the top of him. It's one for Bimas, but he's run out of ammo, and that will be his death sentence. Apex coming out hot here on the CT side. And a great sign to see Apex starting strong on that CT side. Long you put pressure here, but Saiwu is actually throwing out a smoke to keep them at bay. And this does put a little bit of pressure on Maos, who have to halt their attack. And Zywoo is going to get in the midst of battle. It's one kill down to Bimas. Still players on the site. Flash out from Magus from that pit position. Oh, great shot from Torji. Now Dupree back against the wall. They're hunting him down. He's able to get two, but... That's still a decent post plant for Miles to play from. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a good position to be in here, especially with having the pick control for Torzi. Oh, a double nade stack on JDC. Damn close to getting him out of there, but he will stand tall at least. 19 HP. Utility is placed, but he's going to be ineffective in removing the first player within the site. But the smoke is fantastic. It isolates off the pit, but Torzi gets to the left side of it, and the time will start to tick here. Torzi getting into the pit, it's three already for him as Apex is looking for the iron goal. Time taking for Apex, no kid on his back, and Torzi's just buying time, buying so much of it. Apex will run back, but he realizes there's no time to win the round. Maus will bounce back with a force bite. And it's Torzi that does the majority of the work in this round. That's a fantastic start for Maus. I do like this decision to go ahead and stack here early. Comes in though, forces him away, but Masuta able to get the kill anyway. Now Zaiwu will try and go back to the rotation. Come back from Apex though, he's still hanging around towards CT. Masuta's gonna be under so much pressure, and here they come. Blinded, JDC gets caught. Masuta isolates two fights, and he is pulling Vitality right back into this. Dexter, a weak bomb site, but I absolutely love the way Masuta played that. He realized they're up in a fight towards A. That really does show his confidence in his ability right now. Oh, blind kill for Zywu. And now any potential play will be slowed from Maus. They have also left the bomb behind. Peace on out, spots some information. Shouldn't be re-peeking, let Zywu make the next move. And now he drops behind the cover of the CT smoke. It's one from Asuta off the boost. Zywu follows up. Apex does get forced out of the site, but there's a gap in the CT smoke, and Zywu will use that. A second kill from this position for Zaiwu, and it's just Dexter. Shot lands onto Zaiwu, but it's not enough damage to bring him down, and Zaiwu then swings with the USP. Starting to really get into it now, Zaiwu. That's a four into the future. So what Mouse have up their sleeve in this round. Maybe something slightly faster towards big. Oh, it is quick. Very quick indeed. Apex just gets clothesline. JDC with a speed up through Banana has caught Apex and left him dead on the floor. Masuta's is under pressure now. Sends the smoke out to at least try and give himself a bit more cover and buy some time, but eventually he'll be overrun too. Dubray sprays through the CT smoke, eventually gets a kill from it, and the second will be snatched up too on Bumas. Good impact found here for Dupree. You can't let this one slip, Vitality. This should have been one of the easiest ones. Up against the pistols, the Maus have come out with a B rush. Torzi with the rifle. He's still committed forward, but eventually will start to drop back. JDC taken out, but Torzi finds the kill on Zaiwu and turns on the Dupree. It is suddenly just Magis left to do absolutely everything. He creeps back into the site, but Torzi on 4 HP gets a 3k and map for the time being. And a couple of players have been softened up on either side. JDC here from Maus Dupree on the side. Haven't checked Masuta, but he's caught by the flash. Therefore rendered ineffective. The kill will come through for Maus. Zaiwu at least keeping it even for the time being. And a couple of players have been softened up on either side. JDC here for Maus. Dupree on the side of Vitality. Zaiwu reading the archway attempt. And he is going to double up to bring down JDC and Torzi. Leaving just frozen. Walking up Banana. A 1v3 ahead of him. No smoke for CT. He's just got to try and get contact in towards this B site. Apex has positioned himself really well to deal with that push forward. Frozen does get caught. Five rounds for Vitality. 
And for Vitality, a decent amount of utility approaching this T pistol, but it's a push down middle coming in from the CT side that might have just been detected by Masuta. Zaiwu and Med just peeking out in towards middle. A couple of kills already picked up from Vitality, nearly three. Only the one flash right here. Oh, the molly goes into pit. Torres is actually playing from the graveyard, but that one flash you mentioned, it's going to be effective at at least blinding Torres here for the time being. It's enough information to gather and focus on his spot, but Bimas and JDC have pulled a couple of kills back and equaled out the numbers. They've got to get to the bomb here. Apex and Zaiwu getting kills, clearing out the site, and Vitality with the AWP from Coffins. Torres taking the wider fight, knows he's got Vitality pinned in towards pool. He's trying to watch for Apex, and Apex goes back with a bomb. That's a lot of info about the mindset of this attack here from Vitality. Torsi sees the bomb running back. Finally, Masuda gets rid of him, but he has to look for Frozen. He has to take down the right floor at the back of the site. 20 seconds left. Look how far away Dupree is. Look at the time. 15 seconds left. Frozen. He's going to start hearing Dupree. He starts to realize where he's playing from, but there just isn't enough time here for Dupree to win the round. Frozen's got out of there. He's down banana. And that's a round that Vitality will have to stomach. What a round from Torzi, just being an absolute noose of the library. And we'll get rid of the AWP problem, but Dexter is going to play inside a pit, and it's still a really strong spot. Utility going down, trying to cause a problem, but the only problem is Torzi right now. Out from long, Masuta goes down, Apex also chomped on up, Ooh. but Zaiwu might just strike into action. Is this where the flame of the incredible beast lights up and gives Vitality a must-win round to 14? Well, he's got a chance for it. Frozen's back at short. Zaiwu gets deeper in towards the back of the site. And this is why you get a player like Zaiwu in the team. This is the benefit you got him for the clutches. He's looking to be forced into the open, but Zaiwu separates the fight down into the 1v1. But JDC will burn him out from the back of the bomb site, and it will not be a Zaiwu highlight. In fact, it'll be a 12th round for Maus. Looks like Maus might go out with a whimper here. They've lost the site already, bombed down. What can you even do? There's the 30th. Zaiwu's got the 30 bomb. Dexter. Goes down, and so are Maus. Apex collects another life. It is Torzi and Bumas massacred inside of CT. Zaiwu closes with a huge round again. 16 to 12, Vitality hit another level to close out Inferno. They are now one map away from the line says. Join us after the break to break down Inferno. Well, JDC under a lot of pressure. Masuta comes out, JDC is down. Suta continues to move forward. It's another kill for him. Frozen replies. There's a lot more work to be done here for Maus. Frozen has got the kit, so a few extra seconds added on to the retake attempt. Dexter sweeping through and removing Masuta. I was going to play down and look on up. The Glock connects where it needs to go. Dexter down, but Apex comes in on the flank, and that should be enough to confirm the pistol. And Vitality will indeed take it. So one to trying to see what he can do on the boost up. Magus has snuck by. Mine's a good little shot. They actually aren't expecting the boost. Apex caught completely off guard by that one. That's going to give at least an edge here for Maus to play with. Whether or not they can send this one home is yet to be seen, but matches might be under a lot of pressure. A lot of pistols around the other side and frozen. There's one right between the eyes. Magis out of there. Dupree quick to react as he pushes through connector. Masuta now coming with the rest of the forces of Vitality. And they have Ilan Taudi with Dupree making the information play up towards A. Have decided, all right, let's back off. Let's play the percentage here. Let's try and get away. But now Frozen tries to catch them as they go up connector. Gets away with one of Masuta. And they're able to slip away at least with a bomb. As I was just in such a good spot right now. Should be able to melt opponents in front of him. Once he goes down first, Zaiwu low in health, so Frozen could have landed at least one, but Zaiwu will complete the 3k. Left it open early. Dexter is now rotated up to help on the A side of the map, though, so he will look to reposition. He gets caught in the open, but at least finds one before he's traded. Sight. 
Saru just holding the flash at the ready to assist his teammates. You're playing him from the mid spot. Masuta goes to dodge the flash. Bimas still blinded, able to react and takes out Masuta. Defuse being stuck now around the corner. Dupree is to get to it. Zaiwu is the player that goes forward, and Zaiwu brings them down. Another 3k for Zaiwu. What a hot starty impact within that first half, and now they desperately need a pistol. They're going to be charging their way through to B, looking to split from two sides. Monster and Short may just go for one and two on the Jewel Boretas. Good trades coming through for Maus, at least keeping the numbers even for now. Masuta under pressure, and Torzi puts one right between the eyes. Zaiwu and Dupree left to try and pull this one back. Now, they are the two heaviest hitters here for Vitality. The problem is they've got to retake the site, and Dupree's flank is spotted. There's no kit on their backs either, nor utility, and Dexter will swing on by to take out Zaiwu. Dupree goes down as well, and that is exactly what Maus needed. Nice, which just spotted JDC's barrel tip around the corner. The flash will be good for a moment, but Zaiwu had an opportunity, but now he's caught under a lot of pressure. They're running him down. The flash is good. Zaiwu nearly gets another, but finally put in the ground, and that calls for Dupree to step up. One from the back of the dice box to peek on out into Bimas. The reply is there for Maus, but Apex standing strong for at least one. Thrusts Bimas into the one versus two. He's got to close out the clutch versus Majeska Masuta. The double M combo. M and M trying to win this 2v1. Bimas wasn't able to get that up there, so he sticks with the Galil. Maybe that's part of the reason why he's sticking to this close position. No kit in hand right now for Vitality, so they're going to start to get onto the site. They're going to tap this quick, but Bimas tries to take the fight. He gets the first, and Magus also in position, but Bimas swings onto both. Smoke using some simple utility to try and breach the bomb site. I don't know if Zywu and Dupree, they've got two ops here. How are they going to slow this? How are they going to find enough multi-kill potential to just hold onto the site? They just aren't. The rifles explode on them, and the double op setup is not designed to deal with that kind of play. Maus have made the perfect move. Oh, what is that shot from Apex? Yeah, a lot more needed though. Vitality get the kill. They're up a player, yeah, but not for long. Apex has got the other kill. It's now just down to Bimas, and he's had a 1v2 already here in this second half. He looks to deliver one again. This time, he's positioned towards long. Bomb isn't exactly planted for him. There's pressure on this. He needs to line it up. Shot is good on Apex. Defuse just being stuck. Masuta goes to hold it, but Bimas on the final shot prevents the defuse from... Apex hears them. Mao is about to pop out in towards the side, and Apex playing from the bathrooms. There's at least one here on the JDC. Bimas has spotted the back of a player within the bathroom, so that's information there's two players at least there. Dupree's come up, though, and shut Bimas away, and this round looks like it's starting to crumble for Maus. How are they going to recover this one? A 2v4 to try and pull this off. Torsi, a couple of kills being found, but he's needed a lot more than that, and he's suddenly found three. The flank around long, though. Dupree will shut down any attempts of a hero play and as soon as i say it as soon as his way through to the b side he's got some ground here but zaiwu holding a missed shot from the awp of zaiwu and dexter's inside of the smoke apex looks down bumas is gone torzi removing apex so it comes down to whether or not this play from dexter can work zaiwu going forward torzi's got the no scope how are they recovering this one how have mouse found themselves in this position Vitality looks so good in this round, but suddenly it is just Magisk left alone. Dropping down from heaven to hell. And he might just be in hell right now as Torzi is looking for him. He's creeping through Monster Molly onto the side, and Torzi with the 3k. How have Mouse turned that round around? How have they found the comfortable? Vitality down a player heading in the final minute of this round. Waiting outside of this B side of the map. Still a couple of players here. Smoke goes in. Got a rifle of Apex at barrels. So we're playing the up swing. close. They go through. Yeah, Torch is going to take him out. The kill is in favor of Maus. Apex and Dupree starting to come back into it. Apex is blinded, forced down into the water. Maus have the advantage and they're pushing forward, gaining ground. Dexter with a headshot. It's just Dupree left. He's coming back through Monster, Famas on his back, no kit, one single flash, and three players on the other side of the server he has to remove. Dexter looks for him, and he gets the headshot. Mouse will pull it off. Nine rounds found, nine to three was the scoreline, and Mouse will pull it back to take victory, 16 to 10. We need Nuke to decide who's going to the Lexus.
not always known for his fragging ability, but can often have a few performances here and there. Man, just under pressure, gets one and taken out. Not even looking for Apex. Oh, a bit of extra cash for Apex. And the Kevlar will be safe for him, but not just a little jump spot, have the net out in hand for when you see it to try and delay. Molly sent up. They know that Apex is playing decom. He's tried to reposition quickly, and he'll do exactly that. He's worried about the flank coming around the other side of decon. Flash goes out through the control room window. Frozen. Headshot is there. Magis making sure that Vitality can continue to be deadly within this fight, but 30 seconds left. Dexter tries to climb up the ladder, and as soon as he does so, Zaiwu is nipping at his heels, really putting pressure on the Aussie, but he'll be able to come out on top of the Frenchman. And now we're down into the three versus two, with Maus having the advantage, but the bomb needs to get onto the site. And down oh. lower they want to go here, and while well, both players are on upper right now. Dexter's running all this distraction oh my God. Okay, Another Dexter. kill for him, and the bomb can now go down on B. So he's just pulled off good meant that the B-Site didn't get lost instantly. The worth talking about is this AK. In the hands of Magus, and he will attempt to play it towards Yard and spots out JDC. At least making that one AK work. The distraction to allow Masuta to be impactful. He just takes a few shots and then drops on down. Masuta should be in the surprising position with the P250, and that's exactly what has happened. The kill comes through from Masuta. The AK picked up from his move, and it's going aggressive in lobby. Do they expect Maus to have snuck into hell, though? If they were to wrap lower, that could actually be an issue here for the Vitality side, and that's what they're doing. They think it's B. Magus is playing so passively on A that he's not going to spot this. Mouse have the chance to get a bomb plant, but... Oh, the timing. Oh, the Look timing. at that. He's right behind him. He's just seen one. He knows the second's just dropped into the site. Oh, Vimas has a lot more pressure now because he has to plant oh. due to the limited time. But Magis hasn't been able to get the line up through the smoke, so Bimas has got away with it. Could this be a clutch for Bimas again? 25 HP. Not been the one versus three. Instead of all coming in from heaven, one has decided to go out towards main and just that little change up makes this much more difficult. Bimas has isolated the fight. Magisk has gone down. Zaiwu goes down to the right full two and Bimas just running, trying to buy some time. There's no kid on Dupree's back. He has to go back to the defuse. He's got to hold it for the 10 seconds. A valiant attempt here from Bimas. And Dupree looking to hold it through here for Vitality. It's close. It's close, but he's got it. Defuse for Vitality picked up. Oh, not anything else. Vitality moving into lobby right now. Oh, Bimas gets caught. Dupree successful with the CT maneuver. The aggressive look to the CT side has been a bit more convincing so far. And Dupree and Hut should be good for one hit. It's going to be inaccurate on the first bullet, but cleans up three. Decorates the lobby with the corpses of them out of there. And Vitality have taken the site. JDC and Dexter need some heavy lifting to try and get back into it. And it's upheaval of Apex and Masuta. But Zaiwu has continued his massacre in the pistol round. And it's down into the 3v2. Vitality hold the advantage for the time being. But the flank from the doorway of JDC might just pull one kill back. And it will. Onto the back of the head of Magisk. He needs another one. And JDC has got it. It is just down to Zaiwu who needs to ace this pistol to give Vitality the first round of the second half. And he's only one away. And he cannot complete it. It is four kills. But what more does he have to do? It looks so good for Vitality. I was ready to say that's the Vitality we wanted to see. I wanted to see an incredible performance in the pistol. I wanted to see... And Mage is coming through hot alone. He will have to cut in towards Bimas. That MP9 fight could really turn the tides of this round. Mage just takes the sight player away. That's an insane peek out from Magisk, and he gets a second kill too. Bimas is out of there. Frozen tries his best from heaven, but it isn't enough yet. Mao is looking for the peek over. It is Torzi who went for the attempt, but the shot will not land. Vita Vitality stay ahead. And now with the bomb going down, start to increase their chances of closing out a seventh. JDC coming back in from lobby. He's got the wrap now. Majus is coming around the back side. He has just been an absolute thorn in their side. And now he's a thorn in the back of JDC's head. Torzi has to save the op. 
Cause you will stay safe. He will be able to hold on to that orb. As long Unable to convert. Zyro. Oh, this is so well coordinated. Whoa. I love that choreography on point and dead. <laughs> oh my god. You know, you got all the style. But execution at the end. Well, the only execution at the end is Iwoos. Apex trades it. How many kills is he getting with HE grenades today? It's wild. Yesterday we seen him pass. That's totally what you were trying to do the whole time. <laughs> And then you get a kill, so, you know, it works out. TABC Bye. tried to sneak the smoke, but Apex with an entry, and this is just a fake towards Yard. This is going to draw the attention of Mouse. Mm, Dexter is trying to see if he can spot even a slight pixel. Oh, my God. Nose, noses have touched. What? And Apex just goes forward, kills one, and then comes back and deals with Dexter. What a round from Apex. Four kills so far. Apex goes ahead. He gets the <laughs> ace, and then Magus kills him. He can only Everything be stopped by Magus. Key to be alive. Now the AWP of Torshi comes in as the emergency backup, but it's ineffective in getting a kill. And the second time, he misses the shot too. So many missed opportunities here for Maus. At least Bimas has been successful in removing Zaiwu. But Apex has appeared and Dexter is down. And now they're trying to move through to the A site. Vitality have set their sights on the top site, but Frozen has brought down two of them. This is not bad, but there's still a shot for Vitality to get into the site. Dupree leaps towards the back of the bombs. Passive right now. Maus are going to start to get out towards the site. Dupree's going for the flank all the way around, but Maus are already getting towards the bomb. Well, the tap is creating pressure, certainly, and the suit has it. gone down. You just need to stick it, and they've won the round already. Dupree decides to cross. Torzi's actually going to go up top and try and spot this. Oh, and it's such a good play for Torzi. Confidence in this round to get the double. Magis and Apex both out of there. Finally, Zywu will reply. But Vitality need a lot more than that. They need a lot more to keep them alive in this matchup. Four players on the other side of things still alive and still kicking from out. The Molotov will force Bimaz wide, but wide into the fight he will go. He takes one before burning to a crisp, and now it is Zaibu left in the clutch. Alone, but it's not going to happen. 16 to 12. Mouse will eliminate Vitality in Cologne, and Mouse will have a chance to head to the playoffs. One more matchup, and they make it through.